YouTube, welcome to and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And this video, I am back on my on my world, on Fuckers world. So this is my main world, and sorry I'm not putting on it for ages. <coughs> um, but I am back on it, and today I'm finishing off the um. Today I'm finishing off the uh McDonald's restaurant. Now, as you can see, the new guard's got a new name, one of them, I can't remember which one. Um, and th this will be the last mob run I'll ever do. I hope, I don't know if there's any mobs in here actually today. Oh yeah, the <clears throat> and you'll see why at the end of the video, because I'm going to add something new. So, the person who suggested the name for, one sec. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Yeah, and the person who suggested the name was MC Miners. And sorry, guys, but this love garden's gonna be gone. This love garden will be gone. Uh, this love garden is going to be gone by the end of this video because I am gonna be taking it down. Basically, I am not having the love garden anymore. Um, I do not want one. Basically, it'd be too much cocky and like stampy long nose. And plus, I don't want to be like him for one. And two, it's too much copying. But I've got a resolution for that as well, which still gets me the loot from the mobs. And it's a really good idea, I think, if it works. And my tree farm's still going good. So, um, there's a few things I added. Like I said last video, I, f I would finish off the sign in the car park, and I did. But I've also added this pathway up. It is very simple, but it takes a long time. Because I had to get all this cobble, and then I just left it in the smelting room. While I went and, you know, just went mining. So there were loads of it. So I was just going getting more, and then putting in a thing, make it mark, smell, and then mine some more. And I also got some iron for the thing I'm doing after. And then to do this water... I just put two buckets of water at the top and it went all the way down. But it is really effective. I would have done it in the video, but it would have taken ages. And this is the new car park. I've also added bushes around the outside and this wool. Um, and some fences here saying exit only and entry only. And then there's like one car, car park space and another. Uh, and then you come around here... And then you've got free sandwiches like on the signs where it shows you what you can have. And if you come round again, I'm gonna have some steak actually. Yep. And if you come round again, um, round the back, in the real McDonald's they have three windows, but they never use the third window. So I've got one where you ask and pay, and then a final one where you take it away. Or I think I'm gonna have the pay one there. I don't know. No, the pay first. Cause that's what they do and then you come around here and then you come out in the exit so they're the new things and i also um got all these materials left over that from the stairs and a few others and today we are building the inside uh this is the boys this went hard it's only iron and then i've got some toilet roll and a chest and a little flap so we can have like dumps in there or something. Oh, I can store secret things in. <laughs> and you got the girls. Oh, I shouldn't really go in it. But basically, guys, it's exactly the same. Now let's get out before a girl gets in. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, this is like the serving counter. This is where everyone would sit. Um, basically, this step, so we're finishing it. And I also will up all these sides just so it were ready so we could finish. And I finish the McDonald's side. <clears throat> and then in here, this is where they put cold food. And here's the windows. So first I'm going to start off with the grill. <clears throat> which will be in here. Yeah, it's that black one. And the grill is going to be kind of like a barbecue. And you're going to need these. So basically how the grill works is you have one thing like that, one on each end. Oh no. Try to stop it, yeah. 
so that I stole pick from mining. <clears throat> oh, that was the new one I built and then never used it because I finished just in time. Um, and I think I went a bit over on the stairs. And I still need stairs, so it's not bothered. And yeah, it's like that. So you'd like cook it on the. <clears throat> yep, I didn't need that thing actually. So it's kind of like a barbecue as well. It looked better in mind. But you like cook it on in here and on there. And you like there, you know, like the cooling side, so they'll still keep warm. So how you make a barbecue is basically that, but with half stone slabs. Um, can I like show you in here? I don't know if they come up in here. <coughs> right, it might be a proper crafting table. Yeah, but you put like half stone slabs there and there, and then you put them on top. And it'll look like the barbecue where it opens outwards from the side. But that's the oven oven. And then we're going to have some of them dotted around some of these, some counters. Uh, we need that, we need them, and we need them. Oh, yeah, that's it. Um, what was I thinking? It's not that. It's that. Uh, on a barbecue, you will put that down. No, wait, on a barbecue, you could do this like it's the grill, but for this, do you know where you've got four cylinders and you put your pans on them? That's what it's for. I was wondering why it didn't look as good as I thought it would. But there we go. So that's like PTO, they've got one, two, three, and four holes where you would put like the pans on. Yay. <clears throat> anyway. So I'm going to put like one there and one there. So that's like the cooking area. And then for a till, you go like that. And we're going to have two tills because there'll be quite a few customers. And that's how I do my tills. Like <coughs> you press a button and it opens. And you like got the side plate or whatever. <coughs> and then you just got a middle area. So we'll get quite a lot of customers in ours. And then, uh, wait. The pay window's here, so press quickly put better on the back. And I can have like the pay bit there, and then that's just basically all the serve then. Uh, and I could have actually chop this, put a crafting table down. I don't know why, it might just look better, and then like, one here. And then maybe over here have like, two more ovens. Yeah, there we go. So, oh yeah, and as well we need our drinks thing, so it would be, And then, could we put the, like, then? Yeah, that looks good. So that's like our dr the drinks thing in the bit, where you, you drink, you pour out. And then, we need, like, then, the bits where all the food comes out of from the, even though the food's the, like the side waiting bit. That look good. No wait, uh if I go like this. No oh wait. And then like I would have placed them upside down. I just did it then. Well, that's because I had a wall. Um, I like went. Like that. Oh, 
I mainly change this black bit. So like, oh, yeah, and then like they leave the chips there waiting for until the people come to collect it. Like once they've cooked it on the. I think it just looks better. Actually, no, this will just look better. Having another just table on the back there. I was thinking because I want to get rid of these stone stairs because I'm not really going to use them in a buildable quite recent. Well, coming up soon. That looks good for my kitchen. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That is already done. I'm going to have a quick little sleep. Um, and then we can get on with the roof and once I've done the roof we can start doing something else and in my camera lags out I'll do part two don't worry oh no I'm gonna have to fight with this at least I'll get some free spring or spider eyes there we go some more spring so to do the roof it is very simple I'm just gonna pile up outside um, oh I need the stuff first so the roof is all going to be white, that's why I've got loads of white and yellow and red because there's a sign on top. But no, it's just, oh yeah, I'm going to have a red top or so, oh I got mixed up. So I hope I've got enough red now because I'm going to need a red top and then a yellow sign. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. All right then. Uh, I could do with shears, but I've got no iron. Oh well, I'll just have to place the blocks in the right place. To pile up, I'll use. Can I just place a red block? Yep. It don't take that long to break. That's the good thing. So to pile up, I will use. I just use stairs so then I can like going oh my I just failed at that completely place one there and then one there yeah and then for this it's gonna come one in and I can get that after I'll leave it I'm just gonna put that there and then Oh, I forgot to crouch. Oh, well, <laughs> this ain't going that good, guys. And we've only just started. Right then, so. All I've got to do is place this all around the top like this. And then along here as well. And then keep going again. Uh, this is, I don't know if I'll have enough. I just got loads of wool because normally it takes quite a takes up quite a lot of wood to do stuff like this. At least I'll have that kitchen part done. Oh, and I forgot to add torches in. I'll have to do that after. Yep, yeah, and it goes all the way along, or else it'll just look weird. I didn't realise it went this far out. I thought it stopped there then. It's basically just a red top all the way along uh, the whole thing. And I'm just going to do it all in this episode. I can't be really pausing it this time. Um, I thought, I didn't think I were on the edge. But I'm far away. Let's climb back up this way so I'm not like placing any more blocks. And this is going to take ages. I just realised. Uh, I don't know if we'll 
more time in the video still to do the end part. I'm hoping we do because there was something I really wanted to do and I do want to get rid of the love garden. Um, well, the thank you garden is what I called it so it weren't exactly copying. Uh, I just don't, basically I just don't want to be copying him and like getting comments. I just thought it would be a good idea because someone said it would be a good idea. So I thought, okay, it might be. But, no, it's alright. I mean, I want, I don't want my world to be like anyone else's. I want mine to be different. And that's the reason I'm filming the McDonald's restaurant. No one, I don't think, no one that I know or any YouTubers that I've watched has built a McDonald's thing. Um, Dan TDM does a lab and it's different to what other people do. Stampy Longnose does the Love Garden because it's different to what everyone else does. It's only really like people who watch Stampy who do Love Gardens because they like him and they think all his ideas are awesome. Some of them are quite awesome. I don't know if he does them all himself. I get all my ideas myself. Sometimes I get inspiration of what I've seen other people do. But most of them I try and get myself. Like I've got quite a few ideas already that I want to do but I'm not going to do yet until I'm further in the video well further into doing it when I've got more materials and I am going to start building um, my bedroom next episode which I can't wait for because um, it's going to be awesome because every house needs a bedroom and I've got nowhere to put my bed at the moment so yeah and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have like a two floor bedroom. So from, and I'm going to like sleep on the top floor and the bottom floor I'm going to have, I don't know, kind of like a small house fitted into a big house. And then it's going to have like a balcony and I'm going to jump down from the top balcony onto the bottom balcony at the start of the video. And then there's going to be a water slide into my garden because I'm going to have a long garden. And it's going to like be a water slide all the way down to the bottom. And I'll walk up the other garden part. And then that's like the intro to my video. Then. It just seems awesome. And then for the end, I'm going to do it. Right, one, two, three, four. Place one. Let's see how far that apart that is. One, two, three, four. <coughs> right, and then if you go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So they want to be one more in. Unless I build a bigger M. That look better. Nah, that looks like a perfect M. Unless, one, two, three, four. I'm going to build up one there. <coughs> yeah, cross again. And then build one day and then one across and then build up from this right do that that just try that and yeah, I think we should do it one more over. Oh well. Um, sorry about the quick wheel challenge competition. How I didn't upload a video yesterday. Two people were meant to be doing those and then they didn't turn up so I couldn't do it. But uh, yeah, so I'm sorry about that guys. But I will sort something out and I'm going to try and get it done today. If not, it'll be done before the end, before next week. It'll at least be done over the weekend. It's just, I've got to try and get two people on. It's not like I've just got to wait for one person to get on. It's two people. Uh, that person was on yesterday and is on today. But the other person I'm waiting for to get on has not come on. <clears throat> I do know that person, so I'm going to, and I know where they live and stuff, so I'm going to try and get them to join. And yeah, that looks a lot better. So now we've got our McDonald's. And then that sign's just left like that. Yes. 
the McDonald's least complete guys episode three, well third video and I said it will be complete in the third video and I'm gonna do this video half an hour or 25 minutes on so yeah all I did was place a water bucket out of the top and then it just drifts down itself and this is quite fun actually <coughs> anyway finally we've finished that so I'm gonna zoom back Where's my steak gone? Oh well. So now I can get meals from McDonald's. Uh, so oh, let's go back to the house and there's quite a few things there. I've not visited the fish restaurant in a right while. Well, the seafood restaurant. Anyway guys, so what I was thinking of doing is I don't know if it works, but I've got all this iron as well when I went mining, and I'm going to create an iron golem. And what I'm going to do with the iron golem is, it's three, one, two, three, four. And what I'm going to do with the iron golem is, I'm going to put it in there, and I think iron golems attack the mobs that come at you. So that's so hopefully that's true. Six tools and I'm gonna leave the iron in there. If that's true then oh actually I need to make an iron sword. If that's true then when as soon as they spawn my iron golem should just go after them and kill them. I still have to do a mob run every now and again because there'll still be some there. But there shouldn't be as many. So hopefully there isn't, so I'm going to create an axe, oh no wait, I'm not going to create an axe, because I don't really need an axe in iron, but I'll create a sword, and then I'm going to, I'll just leave it in over for now, and then <clears throat> that goes in there, <coughs> and I'm just getting a sword quickly, so I can take out this spider, because I need to build my iron golem, yeah but it should save me from creeper explosions and stuff, but I don't know if the iron golems go after them, I hope they do, right, yeah, I've got them too. But did I get any more pumpkins? Yes, I had one spur. thought I had a spur one, and that's why I thought of it. Because one day I was just on the world, and I saw a spam in an iron golem, and it started attacking them all. And I thought maybe I could do that on here. And then in, this is basically my um, mob, um, mob spawner, or whatever you want to call it. So hopefully he goes after the skeleton. Yes! See, and then it'll drop the loot. Yeah. So then when I'm running past, instead of doing the mob run, I do the mob loot. The mob, the ru loot run. <laughs> so basically, this is all you need to do to make your own mob spawner. And it'll save, you'll get 